Well, I deleted the last two videos uh, because, and I apologise for this, but it actually showed my GPS location, which is very, very accurate, so I didn't really want anybody to know exactly where I live. Anyway, it's a complete mess in here. I've had four days or three days of development. Um, so what we have on here is the, as you can see, the TM1000 telemetry module, which goes directly to the Fataba radio. Actually, it's a Spectrum DX8, but there you go. Right, so we've got, if I move the GPS wire, we've got a minimum OSD. Underneath we've got um, Arduino uh, Pro Mini. Uh, we've got an altimeter there. We've got an SD logger, which as you can see is flashing and it's logging, the, uh, logging all the coordinates, temperature, battery usage, you name it, it logs it. It's all nice and um, tidy in there. Can I turn the light on? Yeah. Um, got a transmitter on the back. Unbelievable. The amount of wiring in there is incredible now. So, what I'm going to do now is disconnect the GPS and then I can show you the on screen display. On the bottom right you've got the current ampage uh, voltage of the flight battery um, milliamps used uh, satellite count and there's just the time of the satellite fix um, temperature which isn't correct at the minute because I have to plug the GPS in it's uh, bugging the uh, in the firmware that I've done it doesn't actually do any temperature readings or anything until it gets a GPS fix which I've got, to, I've got to fix so there you go and we've got telemetry on there which will warn me, give me an audible an alarm when the um, flight battery gets a bit low so it's all done the only thing I've got to do is put the top back on which is here ready so when that's on we'll all be ready to fly again Ooh. not my monitor well done it's like a bomb site in here it really is I've got a lot of cleaning up to do tomorrow and then I think I'll start building my AXN when I've got this finished